Hi everybody, Joe here again. It's Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's time for our crafty catch up. And today I've got something really exciting to share with you. I have to say, I just adore creating pieces of artwork like this. Now, I don't know, is it your bag? Isn't it? Well, do you know what? If it isn't, please stay with me just for a couple of minutes and, ha and have a little look and just maybe see... I've got to be honest, this is one of those things that I think should have a warning because it's addictive. It really is. I love creating these backgrounds. Um, but a little bit of housekeeping first. We're going to be using alcohol inks. OK, so alcohol inks, as suggested. So I've got two here and these are the colours we're going to be using. The Starline Grey and Indigo Sky. Now, these are Lavinia's beautiful alcohol inks. Now, I'm only using two colours today. There are so many to choose from. And honestly, once you start doing this technique, well, what can I say? Honestly, it, it, you just want to do it again and again. And I'm also going to be using the pure silver thread. Now, this is beautiful. It's a mixative. It's got a ball bearing in. So that does have to just be shaken. But if I can show you, that's what gives this metallic look at that now to me it almost looks like I don't know granite I just love these effects we get and it's super easy super quick we're going to be using this fabulous Tim Holtz blower air blower and these are on the website so thank you Tracy I've been after these for ages so dead exciting um housekeeping though first first things first because we're using alcohol ink, please have a well-ventilated room. So I've got my craft room window open. So if it's a little bit noisy in the background, that can't be helped. We need to have the air. I've also got my craft room door open and Eric isn't in here. Eric's in the kitchen with the door closed. Because again, because of the fumes from the alcohol, A, you need it well ventilated, but B, think of your pets. So for once, there's no Eric sat under my table. Um, and, and that's it really if you don't like the alcohol inks you can put gloves on me I'm actually not going to get any on my hands so that's fine so let's start now the paper we're going to be using this lovely Lavinia Upo card and it's perfect it's a synthetic card and it's just ideal for alcohol inks we can use it for lots of other things and I will be using it again and again now I'm starting on a piece and I think, well, I was going to tell you the size and I can't remember, six and a half because I want to make a piece of artwork to add to my journal. So start off with the other thing is I'm not using blending solution today. I do use blending solution on the felt when I dab my alcohol inks, but because I'm going to be using the puffer, blending solution contains resin and that isn't good if you're going to be using a straw and again we really advise people not to use a straw for this technique because you've got more chance of inhaling the fumes from the alcohol inks so I'm going to be using rubbing alcohol and I've just got a little bottle to pop it in so I think that's all we need to know um you pull paper ready to go and I'm going to start with my grey and I'm going to take the lid off and just add myself some dots like this across the page. You know, have a thing about diagonal. So we're going diagonal. And then I've got my rubbing alcohol. I'm just going to let that work its way. And then I'm just going to add a little dot into the middle of each one and see it work its magic. I've gone near the edge there so straight away I'm just going to use my tool and puff it back in from the edge and I tend to work I have my rubbing alcohol in one hand and my puffer in the other and literally there is no rhyme or reason why I do what I do but I love these bits so here that's too dark for me so you can direct the way you puff and obviously the the air will dry alcohol inks are fast drying anyway but the air will dry it so you're just maneuvering it 
let's have a look here so in this area here we can get some lovely striations down there look and again I'm directing it so here let's go that way and I tend to turn my work round that's a bit dark there so let's move it you can always add more look move it this way Again, that's a dark area there can move that that way now I'm intending having mine this way but this is just a bit dark let me see if I can move it down the page a little went a bit near the end really with my that first it was a bit near the corner but I can move it see I might keep that down I don't know I quite like that at the top but again you don't have to decide which way I'm going to leave that there with the grey and I'm going to bring in this lovely purpley colour and I've purposely left a couple of little areas look where I can add I don't want to overdo the purple I'll just do that for now I always put my lid back on it's just a habit I get into and let's just add a little bit of a rubbing solution now again, if you're somebody who has asthma or chest conditions and you want to wear a mask, that's perfectly fine. You go with whatever. I know alcohol inks aren't everybody's um, medium to work with, but I personally find with my door open, it well ventilated, for me, it isn't a problem, but you must go off with what is best for you. And I'm just going to go in and add a bit more. I want a bit more of the purple. And I'm just going to actually move this without adding any. I want a bit of the purple to show. Right now, I don't like this bit here, look. So let's, let's move that a bit. And in fact, we'll add bit more purple there and then pull that out that's better yeah in fact I'm going to do that again just a tiny bit more purple there add a drop and move it this way yeah and you can depending look you can blow it back blow it that way fuzzy that edge I'm hoping you can see how it's really building up that's a bit deep there let's just let that fuzzy a bit move it round and basically you just play I, I cannot say how fabulous this is want that up there yeah just want this to look a bit more And you can blow it out and then blow it back in like I say I'm sticking to two colors you can use lots of other colors but I just want the two now I'm really happy with that I love the way that looks so I'm going to add some of my silver now give it a good shake anything with a ball bearing in that's a clue it needs shaking and I want to run it as though and I'm actually just going to run it through the design like that. And you'll see it's starting to fizz. And then I'm going to add my blending solution, not sorry, my alcohol rubbing solution. And I'm literally going to move it round. And I'm tending to blow. What I've discovered with this, for me, it works better if I blow it from the top. It distributes it better. Sort of breaks it up a little. Now that's a bit solid there. See if we can break that up a bit. A bit more. It's better. Now obviously you are going to move the colours underneath, so again, I've got quite a lot of colour here, so let's just move that a bit, you can move it that way. Now you can stop at any point you wish, 
It's your design. And you sort of do get, from my own experience, you get to a point where you know where to stop. I want that moving that way a bit. I love this bit here. I'm not happy with this bit. It's better. Just needed breaking up a bit. The silver was too solid. And as I say, I find probably not easy to look from the top, but if I actually use my puffer from the top on the silver, that works really well for me. So look, look at this here. So where it was quite thick, look, dispersed it. And if you look at how it's running, and I love these bits, these tiny bits here. So for me, it's still a wee bit thick here. So I'm just going to work on this and just disperse this about. I don't want it to go too far because I love the pattern. I want to keep some white space. So I'm sort of moving it backwards and forwards and then almost drying it from the top. But that silver was just a bit too thick. That's it, and I've got a thick edge there. I just want to get rid of that a minute, so I just need a bit more there. Oh, that's better, yeah. Right, I like that. So I'm going to put the lid on this, this little stopper. And make sure the lids are on all my alcohol inks, which they are lovely and tight. And I'm also doing this on my non-stick craft mat, just because I don't want to get alcohol ink on my lovely Lavinia mat. Um, as it happens, look, we're okay. But just in case, I mean, we were close at that edge, weren't we? And as I say, this will dry very quickly, so I'll give it a quick poof. Pop that there. Now, look at that. Bring that close. But for me, I love these areas here where it just, and look at that edge there. And you can just see something in each little bit. These areas here for me are the interesting areas. And, and even this top corner look, I love the difference in colour and texture here. Now, the decision. Although we like, normally we say to have something heavy at the base, I actually think when it goes in my journal, I'll probably have it that way. But hmm, I've got a few days to decide, haven't I? Could have it that way. Just something in me. I like it that way. What about you? What do you think? And I'm thinking this would benefit from a, a black frame. I haven't got a, I've only got a little, but look, I know that's the wrong size, but look, when you pop it on black, really pops. There are so many things you can do with this. Now, on the original, I've put one of our fabulous Lavinia sentiment stickers, and these, for me, just go perfectly with this. Ideal to add. And you know what? One of our fabulous hinge clips... And I don't think it needs anything else. And the good thing is, when you do this, no matter how many you make, do you know what? You'll never get the same thing. So I use the same colours here. More grey in this one. And again, so exciting. And save all your small pieces of your UPO card because you can make little pieces. And the circle sentiment sticker, um, circle around stickers look fabulous on this as well great background honestly and how long did that take i bet that was literally 15 minutes that's all I'm just going to bring my light back in i moved it out of the way because the silver was reflecting as i say the puffers are available on the website and i don't just use them for alcohol ink a little tip i use them for lots of other things and now we've got them i can start showing you how many things we can do with this so I'm hoping you liked that and I'm hoping you have a play. And like I say, I've got a piece of art ready to add to my journal next Tuesday. Now, next Monday even, 
Saturday. I don't even know what day it is. Mind you, I bet you're like me. Sometimes I don't know what day it is, what month it is. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to put my background for this? Well, you're going to have to wait and see. Mind you, so am I, because I haven't got a clue, to be fair. I'm hoping you enjoy this. There are so many other things we can do with our alcohol inks. So this is just the start. Any problems, just message me. I'm happy to answer them. But for me, I do think this is just so beautiful. And you know what? I think that would look lovely in a frame. So have a go. Tag me in, please. I'd love to see what you come up with. And do check out the colours of the fabulous Lavinia inks. And these, the threads, well worth using. So I'm off now. You take care. Have a good week. And I'll see you on Monday when we can add this into our journal page. Much love and hugs from me. Bye for now.